Welcome to MX Graph Made Simple, Part 1, An Introduction. My name is Rafi Rosenberg, and um, to be quite honest, I'm not an expert in either graphs or in MX Graph, um, but I am teaching as I'm learning, and hopefully I can share some of the things that I learn uh, with you and help you along with your learning process as well. Uh, but this means um, that everything that I will be presenting will fall into one of three categories. The first category is, of course, fact. And uh, by fact, I mean that which I've seen uh, other people who really are experts uh, either write or say um, in their tutorials or, or other places. Um, the second are opinions. Uh, and considering that I'm not such an expert, uh, my opinions should be weighted um, as such. Uh, that having been said, hopefully they'll be meaningful as well and will be helpful as well. And the third, unfortunately, are going to be mistakes. Um, and therefore, I ask you, please, as uh, if I do make a mistake, you let me know. That way I can either correct it or just uh, to know it for myself uh, what the correct uh, truth is. So let's start off with the very fundamental question, uh, which is, what is a graph? Now, I always thought when I think of graphs, of course, uh, the ubiquitous bar graph or the pie chart. But uh, as you can see from the title of this slide, uh, that is clearly what it is not. The type of graph that MX Graph works with is a very specific uh, technical type of graph. And uh, I'm going to give you some examples um, to really explain what it means. But basically, it's made up of things. Uh, an example of that might be myself. I'm a thing. Uh, and I was blessed with nine children, so each one of them are things as well, too. Uh, they might not like that uh, way to describe them, but that doesn't make it less true. Um, and relationships. So things and the relationships, as they are uh, visualized, or in other programs, as they are uh, mapped out in, in um, databases are really what make up a graph. So for example, going back to myself and my children, um, I would be one type of thing. Each of my children would be another type of thing. And there are relationships between us. For example, I am my children's father. And uh, my children are obviously my children. And they are, to each other, brother and sister. So the things, um, myself and my children, are referred to as vertices, or obviously in the singular, a vertex. Um, and uh, each vertex can be related to other vertices. And those relationships are referred to as edges. Finally, in MX Graph in specific, um, groups uh, can be created, um, as well as all different types of uh, possibility, possible combinations. Um, and these would be referred to as cells. In addition, each individual object, whether it's a thing or a relationship, can be referred to as a cell as well. So everything inside of a graph, especially an MX Graph, would be considered a cell. So what specifically is MX Graph? According to their website, it is the MX Graph is the only fully client-side JavaScript graph visualization and layout solution. Let's break that down into uh, four basic parts. Uh, first of all, client-side. That means that all of the code that is necessary to run any MX Graph instance um, will be on the computer of the person who's using it, uh, typically downloaded through the internet. And that means that uh, it, there's many, many advantages of that. One of them, obviously, is speed. There's no um, transaction going back and forth between the individual's computer uh, and a server anywhere. Uh, likewise, if, for example, they need to be disconnected from the internet, they're able to run that particular program um, and there's various other uh, examples of why that's beneficial. But the fact is that client-side means that everything is residing, all of the code resides completely and entirely on the uh, user's um, computer. 
JavaScript obviously doesn't need that much explanation. Uh, that's just the language that it's written in. Um, and visualization and layout solution. Now, uh, those are two different um, terms that can be sometimes mistaken. But visualization obviously means that it's meant to be used to show uh, things and their relationships, as opposed to, for example, a graph database, which is meant to store and record data about things and their relationships. So this is specifically a visualization tool, meaning to say it helps people see um, various things and their relationships. Now those can be very, very complex or very, very simple. Um, but obviously visualization has tremendous power. Now layout is something specific within visualization and that is that it allows you to set up uh, certain specifics about how that visualization occurs uh, if you choose to. You don't have to but you can. So uh, I will give some examples of that as we move along. Now let me show you some examples. We're going to start with this simple organization chart and obviously the organization itself is a thing and this particular program using MX Graph uh, is very limited but at the same time uh, very uh, very good in terms of illustrating relationships. So we add a child that might be the president of the company. I'm not going to put in all the details now but you can change that simply by double clicking. Well why not? We'll do it for this one. I'll make myself the president. And uh, I may have a bunch of employees, a bunch of people who specifically uh, answer to me, and they may have people who answer to them. And if we add another person who answers to me, and he has a team that works with him, suddenly we have this amazing visualization uh, that was created very, very quickly, very easily, um, that uh, demonstrates relationships of objects to each other. In this case, the objects primarily are people. Here's an example of a diagram that you have much more flexibility. Uh, I'm not going to do anything of meaning here. I'm just going to give you an example of how this might work. So there you have one object and we're going to add to that object an additional object and we're going to decide that they are related. Um, and this, this one we drag the relationship just like that and now suddenly we have a relationship. Now this relationship itself can have uh, many different um, if you see here undefined style null, connection zero, children zero this relationship can have many different attributes, as can each of the objects. So the here you have the vertex, uh, which can have its own set of attributes. This vertex can have its own set of attributes. And this relationship, uh, which is shown as a um, an edge, can have its own attributes. I'm just going to add one more just to illustrate one more concept here and let's relate them. Right Now you see here that the relationship uh, is illustrated in a different way. You can, you can really, the, uh, the different types of visualizations that you can have either for the objects, which as we know now are called the vertices, or for the edges, uh, is really infinite. You can create that visualization however you want to, you want it to look. Um, and as we move things around, let's move this vertex. The relationships remain the same. So really what's happening here is you have this very strong visualization of objects and their relationships. Now, how is it used? Again, this is directly from their website, uh, but it, here you have uh, maybe 10 different, 10 or 15 different uh, ways that it's used. Some of the obvious ways that you can imagine uh, would be to show, visualize a workflow. Um, you can imagine visualizing uh, how 
pages of a website uh, interact with each other. Uh, there may be a main page that leads down to some subcategories, and each one of those pages would be a, a vertex, and the relationship of those pages, the path that you can go from one to the next, would obviously be the edge. The bottom line is that MX Graph is a visualization tool that helps you see the relationship between things.